Let's do this. Okay, so let's start with the resetting the room. I won't be surprised if you're not familiar with the, the phrase or the term because it's kind of new. If you guys don't know about Clubhouse, it's a new social media platform and it's audio only. So basically just another social media like Facebook or Instagram. You go in and you have to be using your audio to engage with other people. And there are rooms about all type of topics that you can imagine and you go in just some sort of um, conference you go in there are some moderators and people attending and you can join the chat or um, sh ask questions and it's really fun and i've been hanging out on on this app for for quite some time and they have their own lingo and um, one of the phrases that they use is resetting the room and resetting the room is basically whenever you are uh, whenever there are new people joining a room on clubhouse the moderator would talk about what is the topic of the day, uh, set expectation, what this room is about and so on. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to reset the room. Uh, I have been creating on this YouTube channel since August 2019. And for those of you who, who don't know me or you're just watching this video for the first time, my name is Habiba. I am an amateur hiker and backpacker and I love everything that has to do with adventure traveling. And alongside with my partner, Alex, we, we travel here in the US and beyond and we share content on this YouTube channel about all of our adventures uh, with the goal to make it easier for other people to go out and explore the outdoors in a responsible way but anyway so that's a little bit about us um, in this video today I wanted to kind of celebrate some milestones with, with you guys. I wanted to share some thank yous and some shout outs. And I also want to share with you some updates about the channel and the future of the channel, as well as some travel related updates for uh, 2021. I wanted to do this um, during New Year's, but as you guys know, I was traveling in Morocco to see family and then came back for the New Year's and then it's been just busy between January, February, up until March right now. So really happy that I found the time to do this uh, today. We'll talk first of all about our big milestone that we were so excited to reach and that is getting to 1000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Um, I can't thank you enough especially for people who's been following us for a very long time right now uh, some of you guys were so very supportive i loved reading your comments and getting your messages on on instagram and so on so it's been really really nice um, obviously with getting to 1000 subscribers and uh, reaching or exceeding 4000 hours of watch time on youtube you have the opportunity to get monetized if you choose to so we got to that milestone and then on top of the monetization there is something called YouTube community and with the YouTube community you will have the option to uh, share content with the with, with your audience on YouTube uh, you can go in you can share photos on, on your timeline you can um, ask questions and just interact with the uh, the audience here on YouTube in in a very easy way instead of having to use either Facebook or Instagram to stay connected with the with the community so I was really excited for the community tab and I've been sharing for um, a couple of weeks right now and interacting with some of you so it's really nice to to see some of your comments there and if you you guys remember back when we reached 100 subscribers how excited we both were me and Alex and we we threw a celebration at home and then we made a whole video about it and it doesn't mean that we were not very excited for 1000 subscribers I was extremely beyond beyond happy and excited it's just a question of time we didn't find the time to to sit down and celebrate it but hopefully this video is a way for me to to say thank you and we'll try to have the celebration down the line we did promise a giveaway for for the 1,000 subscribers. It's something that we're still working on, so I will let you guys know once that's going to be up. We will share that here on YouTube. We will share it on Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, that's for the, the milestone that we wanted to celebrate with you now. I want to talk a little bit more about the, the, the future of the channel or the direction the channel is going. If you've been with us since August of 2019, which our audience was very, very tiny, but we loved everyone and we felt like we connected with a lot of people back then 
it was just easy to connect with people when, when it was kind of small. I mean, we still connect with people, but it's just uh, different when you only have 20, 30 uh, people on your channel. Uh, but um, we started, and then the goal was in the beginning just to focus on, not really to focus, but I just wanted to document our adventures uh, whenever we go hiking and backpacking. And I used to share some long content with 20 up to 40 minutes just of us hiking, hiking, hiking. And I really enjoyed it. And I know some of you enjoyed it too. Um, but if, you, if you've if you been just seeing the type of videos that we've been sharing lately, things have been changing a little bit to move from just hiking and backpacking to a larger uh, umbrella and talk more about adventure traveling with a focus on hiking and backpacking. So we used to say we would share adventures about hiking and backpacking and right now it's adventure travel with a focus on hiking and backpacking. So that's just to kind of share with you that we're not going to, to stop sharing content about hiking and backpacking, but it's going to be a little bit broad. It's going to be hiking here in the US, um, internationally. So wherever we go, we will be sharing our adventures with you. And those adventures are going to be focused on hiking and backpacking. I hope that makes sense. Um, so obviously some of our plans for 2020 had to be changed in one way or the other. And we felt like between 2020, 2021, we've been exploring more national parks here in the US. So we've been sharing um, guides to, to help you and help other people plan for their own adventures. So our content started moving from, you know, just look at as we are hiking on the trail to more of, okay, here are all of the places we went to, Here here's where we spent the night, here's where we camped, here's what we ate, so that if you want to plan something similar, you have the tools and resources to, to do so. So that's, uh, that's the main shift. I just try to, to focus more on bringing value uh, this way I can share with you a lot what I love to do and at the same time bring some some value in in, in the content but uh, I have a lot of videos that are still in the works from way when we were still in in Alaska um, we spent one month up in Alaska working from there and uh, we've done some epic hikes um, and there are a lot of guides that I'm still putting together in case you, you want to go to Alaska because I feel like uh, most people, when you talk about traveling to Alaska, they're just a little bit intimidated because Alaska is big and it's not easy to navigate and you, you don't really have to go on a cruise or you spend three weeks or a month up there, but just with the, with the, the little that you have and with the... Uh, even with limited resources, you can you can make it happen and you can make a trip up there, especially at a time during the pandemic where tickets were really cheap. So anyway, so a lot of guides that we are trying to to put to, together and share with uh, with you guys. And then you might also have noticed that we shared some uh, guides and videos about traveling during the pandemic. So what do you expect if you are traveling to Alaska during the pandemic? What do you expect if you are traveling to national parks during the pandemic? You're traveling to Morocco during the pandemic? Just because I feel like. Uh, there's a lot of ambiguity around uh, these type of topics. When I was going to Morocco, there are a lot of things that I didn't know. And so I couldn't find any content online to help me out. So I'm sure that someone, if there's anyone out there who's traveling to Morocco or Alaska or anywhere else, they're going to find some value in it. So you will see that the, the focus is going to to, to shift more to, to guides, uh, video guides, uh, traveling during the pandemic, uh, tips for, for hiking and backpacking and all, all that type of uh, videos. Now let's talk about our travel plans for 2021. We have some very, very exciting news that we've been impatiently waiting to share with you because today we just finalized the booking and this year, uh, summer 2021, uh, we will be, uh, I'm excited. We are going to try to summit the highest peak in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. And we did book our flight for this summer. Uh, we did book the climb just today and oh my god I have goosebumps just from saying it um, that is going to be our big adventure for 2021 um, obviously there are no guarantees because you never know how things are going to go so we're going to give it our best and just try to to, to plan with with the information that we have right now and 
I really, really hope that it's going to stick and uh, uh, work this year. So I, I wanted to, to throw this out there because there are there's a lot of work that goes into preparing for a big climb like this one. And so I would like to, to be able to talk about it openly when I'm making videos about us either hiking or biking, which by the way, I will start sharing some content about biking as well. So all of the activities and the training and what type of gear we're gonna have to acquire over the next few months and how we're going to train physically and mentally so all of that I would I would love to to be able to to share it here so I'm happy that you guys know uh, the cat is out of the bag which it's not it's not a big thing to hide or anything but just because I didn't want to share it in the beginning because you never know with the pandemic if we get sick or if they cancel the flight or if there are more uh, rules and you can't enter the, the country, Tanzania. So um, that is going to be difficult, but I don't mind. I'm going to share it with you guys and uh, I'm sure if, if we will have to adjust, we will have to adjust. But yeah, so that is the big thing for the year. Um, there's a lot that goes into preparing, like I said, so we will be doing some, some hikes here and there. Um, we will have to um, acclimatize, so we will be probably spending more time in uh, states with higher elevation, like either here um, up in Flagstaff or probably Colorado. So it's going to be um, a bit of a challenge, but we're very excited to be sharing that with you. As far as training, uh, we didn't start a solid training right now or solid program, so we, we're just trying to be reasonably active but nothing too too strong or too aggressive right now but we will have to um, so yeah we are extremely excited to be sharing this with you and just sharing the whole journey yeah so I think that's all I wanted to share I just basically wanted to share about the milestone wanted to say thank you for for supporting us throughout the, the past year and a half well, creating on on YouTube and I wanted to to share the, the big adventure for the year and yeah there will be also I talked about this on Instagram uh, because the weather is getting nicer here in Arizona we will be spending some time cycling and um, I did ask if you guys will be interested in some cycling or we basically just cycle with you know road bike not not mountain biking and i was asking if you guys would be interested in seeing some content of us cycling so a lot of people said sure why not so i will be just throwing sprinkles here and there about some of our biking adventures right here and i will continue on with reviewing even gear that i find to be useful or or um, important to have if you are an adventure traveler a hiker or a backpacker and yeah, so that's all I had to share with you guys. I hope that you are having a great weekend. I hope that uh, the year 2021 is treating you well. Again, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to see how this year is going to, to turn out. And I am very thankful for, for your support, for your presence, and just for you being here. Thank you again, and we will see you guys soon on a new adventure.